So congratulations, you've found a property that you feel has potential to develop. But have you considered, who's your customer? Who are you developing this property for? You see, most areas have different potential and most customers will have different requirements. If you take, for example, this property, we're in a nice residential street in Norwich and this property is, I'd guess, halfway between the town and the university. And if we take a look up the street, we have a number of uh, student accommodation properties. There are terraced houses and HMOs. And if we look this way down the street, we have a number of semi-detached houses, suitable for families. This property, ripe for development, has a really large attic. It's got a huge through lounge inside, and there's a great garden at the back, a good-sized garden at the back. So if I was to develop this property, I'd want to think, who am I going to develop it for? Am I going to develop it for the HMO stroke student market, or am I going to develop it for a family to come along and purchase it? And that would make me think about where I was spending my development money. Could I change the attic into another room to fit another student into it? Could I split the lounge into two separate rooms for, say, a common room for the students and a bedroom, so I get more yield from the property? Or, in terms of a family, would I open out the lounge and perhaps create a playroom for children and a storage space in the loft for children? The garden at the back, would I need it to be low maintenance in a student accommodation? Or do I want it to have nice green foliage and a nice lawn for a family to occupy? So I think the message to take away from this is before you even purchase the property, consider who it is that you're developing this property for. It's going to affect a lot of your decisions in, ten, in terms of spending your budget.